Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to say, call Allah, you Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Brakah Kadash, double honest to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who taught us the truth. All right. The apostles and elders of all Israel. All right. Double honest to them. Shalom and salutations also to the hopeful elect Aki and Mouth there, spreading the gospel throughout the four corners of the earth in sincerity and truth. Presenting your bodies as a living sacrifice as the scriptures teach us to do. All right, waking up, the hopeful elect of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and our seed that's been scattered abroad, the seed, the true seed of Israel that may look like the other nations. All right. And, uh, yeah, shalom to the very few sisters that do listen up as well. I'm the brother Yal Meyer from the Great Millstone Chicago camp, you know, and I was just watching, uh, you know, some old, uh, back, back to this dude, Will Simp, you know, how his woman, just publicly destroyed and tarnished his image. And, you know, he has no morality. I mean, Salaki, he has no integrity, you know, to let that woman do that to him. Because, you know, simping is not for a man of the Lord. You know, simping is weakness. Simping is not even for a man. Simping is against all integrity, principles, and moralities against a true man that serves you. How about you, man? I don't give a fuck what's involved. Your career, the kids, the woman. Hey, fuck them. To, to hell with every fucking single one of them when it comes to your manhood and your integrity. And that's why the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah separates us from these nations. Because, see, we know that a man is simply above a woman. And dudes with that mentality, they put more value on the bitch than they do themselves. And I'm a man that's, you know, yeah, I got children. I got a baby mama, so to speak. I got ladies everywhere. You know, I didn't cut off many women, you know. For this reason. I didn't talk to my kids for months just to not talk to the bitch. I don't care. You know, I don't care. They know what's up. You you want to talk a certain way? You want to act a certain way? You want to so-called keep the and put the kids? All right, bitch, bye. You won't hear my voice. You won't hear my presence. And I don't care what society tries to make a, uh, out about me or that. You can't care about shit that's over here in this. this, this. Fuck this place, man. You know, we here to serve the Lord. We ain't here to be husbands of the year. We ain't here to be fathers of the year. We damn sure ain't here to put our head up some woman ass, man. Who are you? What's your value? Now, granted, I'm not telling the brothers to take care of their family if they got one. But if that comes up against you serving the truth or try to make you do some shit that's outside of the law, statutes, and commandments of your Shimmy how shot or your own morality or integrity, you know, not going out, you know, being away from the brotherhood and you know, I mean, bitch, bye. Adios. Not done cut off many of them. Black, white, Mexican, Arabian. You name it. You know, and that's, that's just not to brag. That's just a true statement. Bitch, leave. Yeah, how about Shimmy I was shine dealing with you? This is who he's dealing with. Men. The Lord said his flock is of men. And when you go against what I'm about to read, you know, you just setting yourself up for failure. You know, brothers got that old, my wife, and they'll leave the bitch alone. She ain't your woman. She ain't obedient. The scriptures say, if thou would, if she don't go, if thou would have a cut off in thy flesh, man. A man of the Lord cannot be a simp. This is Genesis 3 and 16. This is how Yahweh Bar Hashem Yahweh Shah set it up. It says, and unto the woman, he said, I will multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. Salakia, Genesis 3 and 16, it said unto the woman, I said, he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception and sorrow thou shalt bring forth children. And that's natural. That goes into birth labors. And it happened with how many women? Every single one of them on the planet, white, black, whatever. And thy desire shall be toward thy husband and he shall rule over you. So when you go sipping, when you go not laying down the law, when you not going against the principles, when you trimming your ways to seek love, as Jake do for all fucking these monkeys out here and they family or whatever, which you ain't supposed to do, you know, or as my brother Bataka say, if you mixing it to fix it, you, you, you're you not going to get it, man. You're not going to get it. That bitch, you're going to give her an inch, she's going to go a mile, you're going to run out of your wits, and your dumb ass going to say, damn, I should have left this bitch a long time ago. This is first address four and verse 22. It says, by this ye also must know that women have dominion over you. Do ye not labor and toil you and give all and bring all to the woman? 
Yea, he that taketh his sword and goeth his way to rob and to steal and to sail upon the sea and upon the rivers and looketh upon a lion, risking his life in the darkness. All right. It says, and when he have stolen, spoiled, robbed and bring it to his love. Wherefore, a man loveth his wife better than father or mother. Yea, there. Yea, many there be that have run out of their wits for women and become servants for their sakes. Hey, look at this man, Will Smith, man. Look how he tarnished his whole career. Look at Kanye West, man. Chasing after this damn cum bucket, man. Because she got his kids. Man, fuck them kids. Fuck dude. Fuck you. You wouldn't hear my voice presence and you would never see me around your residence. The only other time you'll see me is on the internet with a bitch that look better than you smiling. And another one the next day. And another one the next day. And another one the next day if I feel like it. If that bitch ain't married... She ain't on, on, on unclean, and she, or if she ain't on the Sabbath, you're going to see me with that bitch, and I'm going to let her have it. So then this soft-ass nigga Will Smith get up and slap Chris Rock for that bullshit, tarnish his whole career, which that's the Lord mocking you. That's the Lord really showing you it doesn't profit a man to lose his own, to gain the whole world and lose his own soul. This man can't even stand up and hold his dick and pee, man. This bitch broke this nigga. Broke this nigga. Kanye West got broke. Russell Wilson getting broke. This goofball ass pork chop eating preacher that was just married to this Megan Good bitch. Now she's married to the old, uh, 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 dealing with, you know, getting her back broke by some fucking satanic, Hispanic looking nigga. You know, but it don't matter. Some dork. All they ass dorks. Everybody outside of the men of the Lord and this truth is fucking dorks. You know? These guys are running out of their wits for women because they put so much value on a box that every single bitch on the planet got. Thinking what they did getting them hit in their head. Every day. And we ain't got time for that shit because we on a real mission. And we ain't serving no damn woman. We serving our real Lord. The true Lord. The creator. The heavenly father. The one who made us over them. The one who told us in Genesis 3 and 16, your husband shall rule over thee. If you're not presiding over this woman... You know, like, just fuck her, man. Fuck her. It says, um, wherefore, verse 25, wherefore a man loveth his wife more than brother or father. Yea, there be many that have run out of their wits for women and become servants for their sakes. Many also have perished and erred and sinned for women. Look at that slap. Cost him his career. Now, we ain't going to be alone here no damn 10 more years, but just say we was. Yeah, how about Shimei Oshai forbid? He can't go to the Oscars. One of the best actors on the planet. If not the best active actor. He got those accolades and the Lord mocked that nigga. Kanye West got the richest, read the richest rapper. Look at the Lord mocking this nigga with something as simple as a fucking woman, man. That's because they don't have these scriptures, man. They don't have balls, man. And they're not real men. They're not men. They fucking cowards, man. But good. That's what you bitch ass niggas get for selling out. Verse 27, many have also perished and have erred and have sinned for women. We ain't doing that, man. We ain't fucking doing that. And if you're doing that and if you're in that soft ass spirit, snap out of there, man. I guarantee you the best thing I was with a bitch for five years. The best thing she ever did was leave. And I flourished. I got more bitches than the dog catcher. And that's nothing. Because they all out of line, too. We need salvation, man. But while we down here and we dealing, man, we going to keep our integrity, man. And yeah, the Lord, like I said, I, I, I deal. You know, the Lord throw a dog a bone. But that's not the mission to be, you know, the ultimate love. If it's his nigga, <laughs> Joe Blow, the ultimate lover, man. But that shit cool, though. But a woman not going to fly to you like that. Unless you keep your integrity, man. Unless you keep your manhood. Unless you got some principles. Unless you intrigue her. You can't chase the rabbit with the carrot. You got to stand there with the carrot and let the rabbits run to you, man. The, yeah, the rabbit may want the carrot, but you going outside of your nature by chasing the motherfucker. But if you stand there with the carrot, they going to run to you, man. I'm a professor in that. But we ain't even here for that. But the Lord to give it to us. You know, we got to have, like, listen, man. The scriptures say, trust in your heart, by Shimei, I shout with all thy heart and lean not into thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him. And he shall direct your path. So when it comes to a lady and she talking shit and swallowing spit and just talking all type of crazy bullshit and you dealing with that, letting her telling you what she going to do, what she ain't going to do. Look, 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 man, is you acknowledging the Lord 
Okay, what did the Lord say? Fuck my emotions. What did the Lord say? The scriptures always win, man. In any form, shape, form, or fashion. To hell with these damn women, man. So rock 30, especially the black woman, man. Yeah, Jake. Oh, yeah, you saw. That's our enemy. You ain't finna go hang out with a group of random Edomites. That's our enemy. I ain't go a group a group of random Edomite males. Let me get on. Let me, let me straighten this up because I'm definitely at the White Castle. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna fuck with some snow. But in balance, you ain't gonna hang around a group of a fucking Edomite males because that the black woman is your enemy, man. What this bitch ain't did to show you she her enemy. I home a brother. Brother from the West Coast had posted some shit. And this young nigga woman, did she, I mean, she was fine. I ain't, I'm not going to throw that out the gate. The bitch was fine, man. She had a little TikTok or whatnot. And the TikTok said, um, the best thing about, you know, it's the d best thing about dating white boys. I mean, the Eve can have a serpent. This shit don't piss me off. Like, I, I don't care. I smile. Look, I'm a, he admitted defeat getting a black woman. I admitted victory getting a white woman. But that's on a whole nother plane of understanding. But. The, the lady had, the, well, up that, that creature, you know, had said, the best thing about dating a white man is that you get to be their slaves. No outrage. But what a Omar, Umar Johnson black love crew. You know, you can see with this black love BS, a man can deal with another man, a woman can deal with another woman, but a black man can't deal with a, another woman that ain't black. You know, it's an outrage when you do that. Man, you can't validate the opinions of these nobodies. They hate him, they rebuke it in the gate. Am I there for your enemy because I tell you the truth? Yes. You know, the scriptures already gave us the outline that these people are peons, man. Go <laughs> hell with them. It's Sirach 33 and 19, uh, uh, 17. It says, I considered and labored not for myself only, but for all them to seek learning. Hear me, O great men, great men. Of the people and hearken unto me with your ears, you rulers of the congregation. Give not thy wife, Salaki, give not thy son and wife, the kids and the woman, thy brother and friend, power over thee while thou livest, and give not thy goods to another, lest it repent thee, and thou entreat for the same again. You get that bitch an inch, she gonna go a mile. Oh, she you you let her use your son and your daughters and all that. Look, the Lord will bless. Look, man, you don't know who these people are and why they in your life. They could be in your life because they put you to death. In the past life, and the Lord has set them here. The Lord is a master, man. He set them. He set them in here. Probably, you know, I'm hypothetically speaking to test your integrity and see if you're gonna take them or him. Then fuck around, you know. You make it. We get all things back to remember. The Lord show you how they played you, man, and show you why He put them in your life to mock you, because and to mock them to mark, so like it, to mark themselves. Because a lot of these women and a lot of these people, you gotta understand, the men of the Lord are dealing on the high is vibration you can never deal. So when we out here dealing, you know, the people that Yahweh Barshim, Yahweh Shai put in our life, uh, including us, Yahweh Ratazai, either make it to get delivered or be destroyed because he found something in them or seen something in them. You know, the Lord knows what you did throughout all your lifetimes, man. He knows what they did. And he'll put that in, in your life, you know, to test that measurement, you know. But, you know, that's just me hypothetically speaking. I, I, I think full spectrum. It's either you gonna go with this shit or you not, man. But we damn sure ain't no men of the Lord finna be simping, man. You 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 could you could you could you could really really forget about that shit, man. You can hang it up, and if you are, you gotta test your integrity. Are you a man of the Lord? All right. This scripture, this is Sirach, um, twenty five, and verse um twenty two. 21, it says, stumble not at the beauty of a woman and desire her not for pleasure. A woman, if she maintain her husband, is full of anger, impudence, and reproach. Not, And that's all our women. You know, the scriptures say a woman shall compass a man. They, they really feel that they're the prize. Bitch, wait till the lights go out. Wait till the food go out. Just wait. It says, a wicked woman abated courage and make it a heavy countenance and wounded heart. And a woman that will not comfort her husband in distress, make it weak hands and feeble knees. And you see that in these characters I just named. Of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. Give the water no passage, neither wicked woman liberty to gad abroad. The elder apostle Gabal was just talking about that shit. Here and there, everywhere. 
Man, go on, man. Get, get, bitch, keep going. Just, when you got a bra, just keep going the fuck away from me. I got a job to do, man. My boots on the ground. We behind enemy lines for your boss, shimmy how shot. We ain't got time for that bullshit. Lorenz Tate gave you the perfect example in dead presidents. If thou go as, as not, if she goes, thou wouldst have her cut her off from thy flesh and give her a bill of divorce and let her go. Call the Lalium, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakah Kadash. Double honest to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who taught us this truth. And that's another point I wanted to make, man. Real quick. Jake being the spirit of King David, a King David woman bowed down to him before she started a conversation, man. First Kings, the first chapter, the 15th verse. Uh, even in the book of Esther, the whole nation was saved. Through a man, I mean, through a woman, through Mordecai and Esther, granted, but hey, a heathen king had put his bitch in her place, so the other women won't act up. What no Jada Pinkus in the ancient world, man? He had more integrity and more balls than a lot of you Jakes out here, man. And Esther got risen up through that, and we got saved through a man presiding over a woman, man, and not letting her have his way. More, you know, through that, Mordecai and Esther was um, raised up and delivered Israel. But with that being said, our enemies was crushed and we were prosperous. All right. But with that being said, call the Lalium, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Rakah, Kadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone and to the hopeful elect Akim out there. Shalom.